What's up guys, so welcome to the next and probably last video of the Taiwan series So today we're going to check out what it's like to have a day trip to Shufa and Chofen And we are having a private driver So as you can see, we are at the railway track we're going to fly the lantern Or maybe already flew, you will never know So without further ado, let's begin this video Nose transition Today is the last day of our Taiwan trip and we are making a day trip to Chofan Shifan Me and my dad has been there before but Rose haven't so we are making this trip specifically for her and we got our private driver from KK Day totally not sponsored but yes uh, it's 8am right now and we're gonna check out and meet our driver and just get straight to the driving Woo. so enthusiastic Woo. Woo. So guys, so now we are at our first location of our day trip. Now we are at Shufen Waterfall, and as you can tell, we are having an umbrella. It means it's raining a fair bit, so we're gonna make the way down first, and then gonna check out what it is. I have actually been here before. How many years back? Six years back. No, four. No, four years back when I was still dating Rose, and now I'm back, <laughs> and we are married. So uh, it's Rose's first time here. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> Let's go. currently now at the Shufen waterfall and as you can see it's still raining uh, my camp is also wet so I don't know whether it will be okay that is Shufen waterfall this is the bigger version and apparently from a lower angle it looks like I or an eye so uh, initially we came here the last time my family was raining but now it's still raining but raining lesser and uh, yeah overall oh, it looks like a really mini like, graph wall. Uh, there's a lower platform over there which I think we might still be going but we'll probably get a condo uh, so not too sure if I'm able to block there nice? not nice? magnificent so yeah so let's head down to the lower platform This is the platform where you can view the waterfall and the lower level which you can view uh, but we won't probably go there because it is extremely wet but that is the waterfall very really nice from this angle uh, I want to take a long exposure but it's raining quite a fair bit so probably not I didn't even bring my tripod uh, so uh, definitely worth a visit so now we're going to head back up and take a couple of videos and pictures from above there are very long stairs up there so let's go It's about 10 o'clock right now. Uh, not too sure if you can hear me. Betting on the new mic, and as you can see, there's a lot of people already coming. So initially, the driver said 8 o'clock was a bit early, so we reached about 9 ish. Uh, when we reached, nobody lah, but when we went down, then they come up with then everybody. So you want to beat the crowd, come before 10. And I would say the waterfall is okay lah. I think because it's raining, and if I can drone, it'll be better. But yeah, on to the next spot. Like, share and subscribe. <laughs> so we are doing the ever famous lantern. Happy lantern. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. 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 There are a couple of colors you can choose from. So, we are, so now we are writing the health aspect of it. And uh, yeah, we are doing the writing course. But handwriting is better than mine. So what do you wish for health? 
super healthy for everyone. So after this, once we wreck all four sides of our wishes, we'll set the lantern up and let it fly. So yeah. Fly the lantern now. Gonna fly my depth one first. So it's been really raining right now. Uh, apparently, still can fly lah. So it's <laughs> gonna do the flying. So if you want to fly the balloon, you can just fly it at the first shop when you come up from the car park. It's really really crowded and yeah, as you can see from this bureau itself. This area that nobody will go. Everybody's at the front of the entrance there, flying the lantern, but then here, nobody lah. Don't know why my dad wanna walk. But it's mostly food and a little bit more souvenir shop. Apart from that, it's all closed lah. It's a bit sad for them though. Yeah. Location here plays a huge part. So the train comes every hour, so if you wanna catch it, you can stay for an hour and catch two trains like we did. This is small sausage in large sausage. <laughs> Literally. A small one in the large one. <laughs> Already took a bite of my dad's one. It's actually very quite nice. So we got another one. But because the other one also got garlic, which rose don't eat. You should see her just now. Ah! <laughs> so actually, yes, I guess correctly, this is sticky rice and the preserved veggie inside and the sausage. So it's more like a sausage in the sticky rice. No, sausage in another sausage. <laughs> Quite nice, but actually it's sausage, sticky rice and preserved veggie. <laughs> so this is pretty much what Shufen is. Uh, we want to move on to our next stop, which is Keelang City. It's a city near northeast of Taipei City. So we're probably going to grab some food and have a light snack before heading on to the next destination. So let's see what we're going to get. So now we are eating lunch at this random beef store because Rose wants to eat beef. The total cost of one eight five for two dishes and one side dish. Mm. But a bit, no, doesn't taste like pearl. But a bit, a bit bland for me. Uh, so we just finished lunch. Lunch was, uh, I would say, the four point ten. Don't really recommend. So I won't really show much. I'll talk much about it. But now we are at Kilang Night Market, and our first dish is nutritious sandwich. <laughs> I guess the the outside is like uh, sticky rice or kind of flour, and they fry it. Then inside got sausage, century egg with cucumber and. Tomato and um, it's sixty dollar for one. So I recommend from our driver. Oh yeah, we actually removed the tomato because I don't really like tomato lah. Cucumber inside and the sauce. If you eat all together, I think not bad. Mm. You try. I think you call it the bread. Yeah, I quite like it. I think it's that nice. So it's um egg here. And just now I try it also. I change my rating, I give it a 9. <laughs> so nice. I want another one. <laughs> Next. What did you get? Honey vinegar juice. Huh? A point ten. Seven and a half. <laughs> Don't try. <laughs> Thank you. 
Mm. The soup is nice, especially since it's raining and it's cold now. A bowl of hot soup is, is really very nice. So what I can tell from the ingredients of this soup, it has um, bamboo shoot, mushroom, coriander, something that tastes like bamboo, but I think it's another type of maybe mushroom or like lotus roots. They also add in coriander. I feel like a bit diluted for me. But it's still nice, ah. <laughs> got the got the crepe, crepe meat, yeah. It's a person that don't like bamboo. That's not much bamboo taste, ah. Uh. No crepe taste. I like very very light. Eight point five. How much? Eight. Seven. Uh. We ordered another dish called uh, meat sausages that the driver recommended which is right in front of the entire night market. We also actually ordered another of the nutritional sandwich that Rose really really like. But we're gonna test out the meatballs first. It's a mini Taiwan sausage. <laughs> it is Taiwan sausage in a mini form or like a ball form. <laughs> One piece is eight dollar. Um, we bought ten, which is eighty dollars. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah. I don't need buy. Nine, five point five. I would say it's a nine point five point ten as well. I think the best sausage meat that I've ever tasted in Taiwan. I think it's easier to eat also because it's like a lot smaller. No reaction. Good. Nice. Looking okay, yeah. good. <laughs> Pretty much it for Kilang's night market. We're gonna make our next stop, which is Chofen, which is currently where we are at right now. But as you can see, it's really, really rainy, and we are a little bit too early because we need to head off. Flight is later at 10 p.m., so I don't think we will be able to see the lanterns and the lights. But uh, we're gonna come here just to do a, probably a check in lah. And as you can see there, it's very really cloudy and the rain is coming in. So probably not going to vlog much here already. So uh, just going to eat one tang yen and probably move on to our next location. So yeah, let's go. Cool.